a tearful farewell the shock of their death still fresh a parent of one of the diseased learners saw the news on facebook other rushed to the hospital in search of their children when the news reached them we were very shocked when we were called and told the news late that day we couldn't sleep even though other learners came back we went to the hospital to check and couldn't find them they were still at the scene I opened my phone and saw the van on Facebook. When I quickly came out of the loo, I called Alizwa and she did not pick up. I called the driver, he did not pick up, and told them at the office that I am going to look for my child at Buntingville. When I got there, it was very bad. I saw the van. When I looked and realized the third child is mine. Inga King, a classmate of one of the diseased, was there when the tragedy unfolded. I was there when the accident happened, but I was on the other side. I saw the truck when it was coming. After hearing the loud sound, I lost my mind. I feel very bad. The Department of Education and its stakeholders provided support to the families and learners. We have managed to have a common ground with the families because I think they they did not want to be converged in this fashion with the, their, the remains of their kids. But we finally agreed that uh, we will start with the burials it this morning. Uh, all the families will conduct burials in the morning and then we converge in this fashion uh, together for the for the service for all of them in, in in one place five of the kids are coming from the same village this village where we're in now and one is coming from another village the school principal unati zuma says the learners managed to still perform admirably in spite of the tragedy nomzonele mgoma asabc news Naleni.